Here we are again. Fast food. My favorite. Rosie's here. Swallowing chicken nuggets. Chewed that one a little bit. This is uh, real life, you know, real life situations. You see it. You see it here. Seagulls. Beautiful fall day. Only in the 40s. Sun's out. We woke up. Not too much pain. Live another day. Just took that Cavalier in. Scrapped that. Found out that, uh, my uh, generic <clears throat> Acaso GoPro doesn't like the cold, I guess. You can see it. See it right up there? Made a little mount for it. In the dump body. Worked pretty good, but uh, I guess drove down the interstate get to the scrapyard and went to turn it on when I got there fully charged battery dead doesn't even turn on so I missed all the footage not that it was a whole lot but the guy picked it off with the loader you know I say over and over again that it's a gamble what I do my brother younger brother gambles a lot whether it be betting on sports games or sitting at the blackjack table he likes to gamble with his money and that's what I do I gamble with my money very lower level than him but basically it's the same thing you know for instance this uh, the guy I take the cars to it's a little tricky sometimes and you gotta you gotta watch out because you can uh, win money or you can lose money. It's a game, no matter how you look at it. He uh, he offers a complete car price, so that means you <clears throat> you pull in there, you bring him a car. It's complete, right? Which means just how it would be it's got four wheels it's got a factory exhaust with the cat it's got a battery it's a car it's got interior you know it's it's a full car so he offers a price if you do that which is a pretty good price you know in a lot of people's eyes Hot chili. Maybe it's hot. I don't know. Pretty hot. So, there's that way of doing it. But with me, I know more than most people. 
I know how much some converters can be. They all have different prices. So, you can either bring the car in complete and get that one set price, or you can gamble like I do. I weigh the, I cut the cat off myself, or if it's one I can't get off, the guy does it there for 10 bucks. So, <clears throat> he pays, of course, um, a lot more than the other yard as far as the uh, light iron car body price. Because he wants huge volume. So, I weigh the car in. I sell the cat separately. Aluminum wheels, take the lug nuts off. Sell those separate. Take the battery out, sell that separate. And of course, any other parts that I want off of it. And you can load the car with metal as much as you want, which you can see. I'm just throwing the number one right in because the difference in the number one price and the price for the car is like a matter of $20 a ton. Doesn't make much sense to uh, fill my dump bed up with number one and make a separate trip. Um, and I'm not going to load the bed that full and, and tow a car. It's a little too much for the old truck, you know. Not that it wouldn't handle it, but you don't want to work it that hard if you don't have to. So, fill the car up. Weigh it up. Get that price. And then you sell the cat. But, Like I said, you can win or lose doing that because if it don't add up to the same price you would get complete, say, you know, the cat sucked and it wasn't really worth a lot, um, you can lose. So anyway, for instance, what happened here on this Cavalier is I gambled. Um, so, the cat off of it, the GM ones have codes on them, long bunch of numbers, so you can code them, you know, and he'll look them up right there for me, give me the going rate, but sometimes, like the Cavalier, it was too rusty, could not read the code, therefore he pays a straight price, no code price. Now, again, you can sell them with codes, or you can sell them no code. That's a gamble in itself, because you, you could either win or lose one, if you code it, it might be worth hundreds more. But if you sell it no code, you might actually make out. I don't know what I just said. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. You code it, could uh, could hurt you, or you could win. And vice versa. Just sell it no code, you could make money. You know, not be in danger. But, that car could not read the code, so the price of that sucked. So that price for the converter, and I loaded that car with number one steel, like you've seen uh, in the other video. I made that little Cavalier weigh 
almost 4,000 pounds. I put over a thousand pounds of metal in that in that car. It barely would roll on the rear tires. So with the weight I got for that and the cat, I didn't get the complete car price. I would I lost about thirty dollars. Thirty no about forty dollars by doing it that way. Now, I could have just brought that Cavalier with nothing in it. No weight, no metal. Left the battery in it, left the cat right on it. Uncut. And I would have made that. So, you can see what I did there. Sometimes it works. Other times like that. I didn't lose money. I still made money. I still made a profit. Um, I made just just over two hundred bucks profit on that. Not really what I like. Um, you know, as far as profit wise. I like to make a little more if I can, but that's what happens when you gamble. Can't go wrong. Dave's classic. But, what are you going to do? I hate when people call through Messenger. You know, Facebook Messenger. They use the call thing. I hate that. You got my number. Just call the number. Interrupt my video. What am I going to say? It's all a game. You gamble. Don't really lose too much in this game. If you're careful. But. You don't always make as much as you could. That's part of it. It's all part of the fun. You know, take a ride, beautiful day, freedom, no boss telling me what to do, breathing down my neck. You know, you get something to eat, you make a little money. What more can you ask for? Tell you what, selling stuff on Marketplace is a full-time job. Man, I listed a bunch of that stuff. Those mopeds and crazy, crazy the amount of messages people want in those things. It's always an adventure. I was up to 3 o'clock in the morning. I got maybe four hours of sleep. I sold and delivered that orange moped, 78 Honda Express. Delivered it. 
at 10 o'clock at night. Guy right in town. Him and his wife hanging out drinking. Had to have it. Cash in hand. Bring it to me. I can't drive. So I did. Delivered it. Cash money. Delivered the ATV snowplow day before. And uh, also, the guy who bought the moped, his son comes up to me and says, Hey, you buy junk cars, don't you? I said, Yep. I said, I got one out here to show you. Tried to sell me a Buick Park Ave with no cat. Said he was going to cut it off. I said, Well, you can do that. But. I ain't gonna buy it. Nope. Don't buy cars without cats. So, changed his tune. All of a sudden realized he needed money. Fast. For some reason. I don't ask questions. But, I ended up meeting up with him, getting a key and a title for the car, and paying him for it at 2 o'clock in the morning. Only about five minutes from my house. And it was kind of sketchy because... That little area where it was is known for people cutting cats off and uh, vandalizing cars and break-ins. I told them, I said, don't mess around. I said, it's my car now. Be back in the morning to get it. I was going to wait till after I did this run and got rid of the Cavalier because that was all ready to go and then I was going to go get that car but I said you know what I can't chance it I can't chance it because the longer it sits there more chances of the kitty cat getting cut off so I woke up, went first thing, I winched it on, brought it home, unloaded it, loaded up the Cavalier, and uh, there's another one. It doesn't run, he said the fuel line rotted or something, and the things are real, real piece, but... Uh, another one right there it's a gamble do I leave the cat on there sell it complete or do I cut it off and try to get the codes on it because it's another, another GM that's a uh, Buick's an 04, Cavalier was an 03, relatively the same, but they can be, they can be really good, or they can be really bad, so, yeah, I always like to gamble, so I'll probably end up cutting it off, and that car's got four aluminum wheels on it, Cavalier didn't, just had steels, but, um, He's paying $11 each for the aluminum wheels with the tires on them. 
I mean, you can't go wrong. If you clean them, take the tires off and valve stems and weights, you get 70 cents a pound. Uh, I wait. I had the other day. I I just did it because I wanted to test and see. I had one wheel and tire I got from the dump, and I had one wheel with no tire. And of course, I got 11 for the one with the tire, and I got 14 dollars for the clean one. So a few more dollars, but you got to have a tire machine. You got to go use a tire machine. Go through that work. Now, what do you do with the tires if they're no good? You got to get rid of those. Of course, you can throw them in the cars, but seems like a lot of hassle for a couple bucks. But uh, I think it's pretty fair. You know, all I got to do is take my impact, take the lug nuts off. They pick it up. The wheels fall. I go back on the scale. And then I go up to the little building and I wheel them up. Actually, sometimes a guy comes right out and picks them up and takes them away. So, <clears throat> an extra 44 bucks. That's almost, uh, almost fuel one way. So, not too bad, but, uh. It's a wonderful day. The gas we burned was the gas out of the Cavalier. The old Dooley just drank it right up. So the fuel was free. We spent our time, made a little profit. We move on to the next one. Want the seagulls? You want to eat them? Your chicken's gone. This is a Buick Ultra 2004 that lives in northern Maine. That's what you get. I always kind of wanted one of these things. It seemed like a pretty fancy car to me. Supercharged. Always thought it'd be fun to beat around in one of these, but it ain't going to be this one. There you are. A rare thing right there. Plastic bags. Don't get them anymore.
Hey, uh, just a little bit of sheet metal to cover it up. I mean, it's not a real frame, but it's still structure. Still a unibody. Look at that piece over there. Completely rotted. Cover it up with sheet metal. Hopefully, you can get a sticker. So what happens up here? Meow. Meow. When the fuel line's leaking, there's the fix. Soak it up. Put a diaper on it. Oh. Something's crackling over here. Ooh. Ooh, warm your hands up. <laughs> 